if any of you are wondering why I've got my glasses on, to remember all the facts about the nutrients. I had to put them on so I could see my screen in the background. They're not for show, I promise. I just can't see very well. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Gaz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to be doing something slightly different. I'm gonna be showing you how to do vegan meal prep. So before I went vegan, I used to bodybuild and in my Q&A video, you guys requested that I made some vegan high protein meal prep ideas for you guys. What I'm gonna be cooking today is full of flavor. It's got lots of protein and all the other nutrients that you need when you're training or working out regularly. I'm actually going to be starting with the main meal first because that takes longest to cook and the sweet potatoes are behind me cooking and to serve with them I'm going to be doing a nice bean chilli which is full of nutrients, protein and it's really healthy. So let's get cooking that. Add a small amount of oil or water to a pan. Add one finely sliced red onion. Add one clove of minced garlic. Add one red chilli finely diced. I'm adding two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of cumin. Just allow this to cook for a couple of minutes before we'll add all the rest of the ingredients. Now, as you can see, I don't want this to be your typical boring meal prep. I wanna get some flavor in there. It's really simple to do. Add one cubed red pepper. Add three cups of chopped tomatoes from a can. It's smelling absolutely amazing. I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes and then we're gonna add the beans and all the vital nutrients. So this chili mix has been cooking for a little while now. It's time to add our beans. Now I've got a mix, I've got a cup of chickpeas, which are cooked. I've got a cup of red kidney beans, black beans and sweet corn. They're all cooked and uh, they're so high in protein, complex carbs, potassium, calcium. They're just really good for when we're working out and they repair the muscles really well. So you want as much of these into your diet when training as you can. Just get those in. Just to bring out some of the flavors, I'm adding a pinch of sea salt. That's basically the chili done. It's so simple. I've slightly tweaked my actual chili recipe just to make it easier for you when you're making your meal prep on the weekends ready for the week. It's got all the vital nutrients in there that we need for when we're training. So let's get on to the next dish. So as I said guys, I'm doing everything a bit backwards, but just to make sure that I cook this efficiently and quickly because you don't want to be cooking for a long time on the weekend. You just want to get your meals done and ready for the week basically. So for breakfast, I'm going to make a really simple porridge, um, which you can add milk to in the mornings, whether you just warm it up in the microwave or you warm it up on a hob, whatever you like. But I'm going to make sure there's lots of flavor in there and lots of nutrients in there. And it's just really simple. So grab yourself four containers. I'm going to be making four of each course. So it wouldn't be porridge without the porridge oats. I've got gluten-free porridge oats and I'm just going to do a cup in each one. After all, breakfast, is the most important meal of the day. You wanna start your day right and get some good complex carbs and slow releasing carbs. So that's what these oats are perfect for. Check on the chili every now and then, just give it a little mix. It's looking perfect. I'm gonna flavor the porridge with some raw cacao powder, which is full of antioxidants, really good for the blood, and it's a aphrodisiac, whatever that is. <laughs> I'm joking, I know what it is. So the idea behind the breakfast is you just add your milk, almond or soya, give it a stir and get it into a saucepan or in the microwave and it'll be perfect every time. I recommend adding a cup of milk to this and it'll be perfect porridge. Next in, I'm gonna be adding some mixed nuts. I've got some coconut, some cashew nuts, some walnuts, hazelnuts, a bit of everything really. Nuts are packed full of protein, really good calcium, they're just superfoods in general, good fats as well. 
which is what we need when we're training. Next, I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of hemp seeds. Great for your skin, your hair, also high in protein as well. Next, I'm going to be adding around about a tablespoon of chia seeds to each one. These are literally energy food. Apparently, ancient warriors used to have a little pouch on their belt before going into war and they used to munch on a tablespoon to give them energy in battle. I do recommend adding some dried fruit um, or, or fresh berries. Just bring them along separately and just mix them in uh, before eating your breakfast. Make sure you have a couple of bananas with your breakfast. It's always nice setting it out like this at the start of the week. Bananas again, great sugars, perfect energy food. So that would be my breakfast. So guys, the next meal is a light lunch, which can be served hot or cold. I always like to have one meal that I need to warm up. So for example, the chili, um, and one meal that I can eat on the go, which is cool, or you can warm it up as well. I'm gonna be doing some quinoa, which I'm gonna add some amazing flavors to. I'm gonna make it a lemon and herb quinoa, and also serve it with some grilled piri piri tofu. But if you don't wanna use tofu or soy products, um, I recommend serving this dish with some falafel and really do check out my falafel and flatbreads video because this works really well and it's packed full of protein and good nutrients as well. But I actually have the most amazing falafel recipe in my book. So make sure you pre-order that on Amazon. It's vegan 100 or just type in Gaz Oakley and you can pre-order it now. It'll be out very soon. Back to the, the lunch. I've got my quinoa here. I've cooked it off and I've got four cups in total. That's a cup for each dish. And quinoa is so good for repairing or building muscles because it contains all of the essential amino acids, which is vital for when we're building muscle or repairing muscle. So we need to get this in when we're training. So first up, I've just preheated this griddle pan behind me. And when it's hot, I'm gonna start grilling the tofu. But first up, let's mix together our quinoa. I'm gonna add the juice of one lemon. Squeeze it through your hands so you don't get any of the pips in. As you can see, I have a mix of quinoa here. I've got the red and just the white as well. I've just steamed this, really simple to cook. It only takes about 10 minutes. So into my quinoa, I'm just adding some mixed herbs. I've just got a mix of thyme, parsley and basil. Add whatever you like. Chives are really good as well. Just roughly chop it. As I said, this meal, I recommend uh, having it cold. Um, it's good to have an option of a cold dish, especially if you can't get to a microwave. It's all about getting some really nice flavors into the quinoa. It's got all the nutrients in there. You just need to add some nice flavors. I'm also gonna add a cup of chickpeas just to get some extra protein. I just love chickpeas as well. It makes it a bit more substantial, really. Smells amazing. You don't have to add salt, but I add a little bit of salt to bring out some flavors. Give that a stir around, make sure everything's well incorporated, and let's get on with the grilling of the tofu. I've just pre-marinated this tofu in some of my piri piri sauce. If you want the recipe, go to my skewers video. That just transforms the tofu into something really, really flavorsome. Tofu is great source of protein and really good source of calcium as well. So let's grill these and add them to the dish with the quinoa. Add some oil to your griddle pan. If you don't want to add oil, just put them on a lined baking tray and cook them in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes. Whilst the tofu is grilling behind me, I'm just going to dish up the quinoa into the bowl and just add around a cup into each one. I only like to make four of everything because after four days, really, you don't really want to be eating it. All the flavors would have gone and everything just doesn't taste as good, really. They look really tasty. The griddle mark adds some great flavor and just tra transform the bland tofu. Once they're done, we'll add them to the pots and then we'll get on with the final dish. They won't be much longer, around about three to four minutes on each side. Add two slices of tofu to each dish. So I'm just adding the last 
of the tofu to the lunch meal. And I recommend when the tofu is cool, then add in some spinach. But to speed things up, I'm gonna add it for you guys now. And spinach is literally essential to good health, really. I eat so much of spinach. So I'm just gonna add a handful to each meal. I'm also gonna add some cherry tomatoes to the dish which are really high in vitamin C and just add another nice color to the dish. I hope these meal prep ideas really help you out because they're really good to make at the start of your week. And feel free just to tailor them to your taste. But this is what I would generally eat if I had the time to train. I am gonna get back into it soon. I miss having a little bit of size to me. So I'm gonna add in some sliced red cabbage, dark pigmented foods such as red cabbage, and things like berries work to add more oxygen to the blood and are also anti-inflammatory. So the chili is basically done. It's been on the stove for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna get my sweet potatoes out of the oven which I've just baked. Now you can mash, you can just peel them or you can just slice them up with the skin on. Do whatever you want with the sweet potatoes. I like to use sweet potatoes because they are great, full of vitamin C. They're a really health, healthy vegetable. They're a lot better than general white potatoes. But what I will say, if you are training and you wanna put weight on, I recommend eating white potatoes over sweet potatoes, but these are a lot healthier. So I'm getting my four containers out and I'm just gonna prepare these sweet potatoes. I just like to chop off the end and open them up. As I said, you're welcome to peel these. I don't mind the skin actually is full of flavor and sweetness. I just open it up like that. And I've got six in total. So I'm gonna add uh, one and a half to each meal. Sweet potatoes have too many positives to mention. And look at the range of colors we have already. It's just making sure that we're eating the rainbow and getting loads of nice nutrients into our body. And before I add the chili over the top of the amazing sweet potato, I've got a little recipe for you, which is really flavoursome and you can use it in loads of other dishes. I'm gonna be making creme fraiche or sour cream, which works really well with the chili and it helps cool it down slightly. And it's made from cashew nuts, which are again, full of protein and they're really good for us. In this Ninja cup, I have half a cup of soaked cashew nuts and to it, all I'm gonna add is half a cup of water. I may need to add a little bit more water, but we'll see how this is. If you just roll the lemon like this, it will release some more of the juice. And I'm gonna add the juice of half a lemon because after all, we want it to be like sour cream or creme fraiche. We need to make it, um, we need to get that lemon in basically to get some acidity into it. Just squeeze it through your hand. Add a pinch of salt. Pop your lid on. And blitz it up on a high speed. And there we have it. Here's our creme fraiche done, simple as that. Just adds a little coolness to our chili. It will thicken up once you uh, refrigerate it. It's just quite warm because it's been in the powerful blender. You need to make sure you blend it long enough so that it gets really, really smooth. I'll just pop that aside and then we'll get it on top of the chili. Right, the chili's done. It's smelling really, really nice. You saw how quickly it was to make and how stress-free it is. And just look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Pat full of flavor. It smells absolutely incredible. Before I add it to the containers, I'm gonna add some beautifully cooked broccoli, which I've just steamed. These little trees are actually full of protein, believe it or not, and they're also a great source of vitamin K and iron, which is essential for a vegan diet. So, simply, get our lovely bean chili over the top of our sweet potato. Make sure you get a decent amount in there. I try to aim for around a cup of the chili, just so you know that you're getting lots of the flavors and nutrients into it. And look, there's even some left for your evening meal the day of making this. Lastly, to the dish, I'm gonna add some edamames, around about a handful in each one. These. They're so high in protein. And they're really flavoursome as well. They're actually soybeans, so if you don't want soybeans, just leave them out. Add something like kale 
um, that would work perfectly as well. Also on top, I'm gonna to add our little creme fraiche. I recommend leaving the chili cool down slightly before adding this. But I just want you to see the finished dish. Just for you to squeeze over, a wedge of lime. I recommend having some avocados in the fridge which you can just cut when you're about to eat the meals. Um, they add some great fats and also some protein. So get some avocados in with the chili as well. Just don't put them in ahead of time because they'll go all dark and horrible. I also like to stay hydrated, of course. You need lots of water when you're training. So snacking on some watermelon is great. It's so healthy for you as well. But make sure you have big bottles of water that you can drink throughout the day. So I'm just gonna slice up this watermelon into some nice chunks. You can slice this up smaller, but I like having a big chunk to take with me wherever I'm going and bite on it. So guys, there's my meal prep done. I've just got some sweet treats. So I've got my salted caramel bars that I made in a previous video. They're full of fiber because they got loads of dates in there, Actually, antioxidants because of the raw chocolate and lots of nuts, of course. So I'm gonna get one of these in each of these containers here. And this is a nice snack. Or if you feel like a sweet treat, that's also healthy. I recommend having one of those. Cherries, they're actually a really good food to eat after working out because it's a dark fermented fruit again and they get lots of oxygen in your blood which you need after working out. It helps repair your muscles. So grab a little handful of each of those and get them into the bowl. Likewise, blueberries are the same. So have a few blueberries and they're also a superfood as we all know. So there it is. There's four days worth of meal prep for you guys when you're working out and training in the gym, full of great nutrients to repair our muscles and to keep us full throughout the day. It's all gluten-free, it's all healthy. And yeah, there's some options for you there. I'll definitely be doing one of these videos again. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did. I'm actually gonna go to the gym now and test out some of these meals. I'm sure they'll taste amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you've pre-ordered my book, Vegan 100, on Amazon. Please like, share, comment. Most importantly, please subscribe. And if you want to be part of the notification gang, hit the bell so you're the first ones to know about my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy working out and eating my meals.